So I get quite a lot of requests asking what kind of face products and body products I use. Um, so I thought I'd highlight a couple of the products that I don't haven't really shown in videos before. I think of some of them I have shown in a couple of vids before, but the majority of them I have not. A majority of them are things I've already just started using or, or only just recently fallen in love with. So yeah, I thought I'd show them in the video. So the first thing in my basket of treaties is the um, Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist. I use this as a setting spray for my makeup and it just really helps, although like it can make my face look a bit like wet if I use too much of it, I just use like one, two sprays all over my face and it like refreshes me on the morning, wakes me up, makes me feel amazing. And I genuinely do love this, like it's an amazing little spray, I'm going to just quickly spray some away from my camera would be a good idea, that's the whole. And it literally just comes out like in a mist and it is honestly amazing. I do genuinely love this product, I don't know why I didn't use it before. I got given this recently by my mum because I was suffering with dry skin on my face. I am now suffering with the opposite problem but hey, that's life. But I do still love this, it's amazing. And because Body Shop's natural, I think it's, it's Will be no exception to that. I'm not sure it's vegan, but I know that a lot of these are natural, and there's quite a few body shop things in here. Well, there's two, but actually, no, there's three body shop products in this video because I have fallen in love with body shop products, and they actually make me feel so good. So yeah, that's the first thing in the body shop face mist. The next thing in the box is this Lee Stafford Air Dry Cream. I love this, like I use this on my hair, like if I'm if I'm letting it air dry I will always use this and also if I'm washing it out, well blow drying it I'll also use it because it's a bit of a heat protectant but I actually love this, like I don't use it every single time I wash my hair because I don't always need to but I do love it, like it just makes my hair feel so smooth and so so nice. Um, there's not a lot I can really say about because I think I've talked about this in a video before it's literally just like a cream that just smooths through your hair and it helps to like the texture and making it look so smooth and soft. It is honestly like one of my favourite hair products. There's two hair products in this video and this is one of my favourites. And I absolutely love this. Like I don't know what I'd do without it. It's so good. And then next we have the Body Shop Strawberry Body Yogurt. This is vegan. And I got given this by Joel in September, but the time I was in love with the bo uh, body butter that I was using, and when my body butter ran out, I started using this. And oh my god, I think I'm converted. It is so nice. It is such a nice kind of consistency. And if I can open it, which I can't, but um, it's so nice. Like it's so like you don't need a lot of it but it has good moisture payoff and honestly it's so nice and because you don't have a lot of it it goes like last stages um so i will definitely be trying a couple of different smells of this but the moment i'm actually loving the strawberry it's so nice like i genuinely love this um again there's not all i can say about it but i do genuinely love it it's a body butter what's a body of it and the final body shop thing in this video is this. This is something again I got bought. And I absolutely love it. It smells so fresh. Um, This is, I don't use this every day, but well, actually, that's a lie. I think I do use this most days. When I'm not washing my hair, I will use this. And then when I'm washing my hair, I use like a different one. Um, I have a different one when I wash my hair. I don't know why, I just do, but yeah. Generally, when I'm wash showering or having a bath, I use this to wash myself. It smells amazing. And again, completely natural. Well, not completely natural, but it's like body shop. So it's kind of good environment, doesn't test on animals. And I just absolutely love this. It is so nice. Um, it's not a lot really. Again, it's just a body wash, but it smells amazing, does the job, and I am in love. And the next two things are face masks. This one is a charcoal mask from 
quick fix facials and this is something that I use quite a lot actually once a week at the moment just to stay on the top of my skin make it feel really nice and get rid of all the kind of like blemishy bits I have on my face again my skin is a bit combination-y it goes dry it goes moist moist and then it just get, breaks out and I absolutely love this this has helped a lot with like my breakouts and stuff like that um this isn't the cheapest face mask on the market I wouldn't think but it's not also very not also the most expensive but if it works for my skin I pay now because my skin is one of the things that I'm not going to skimp on anymore because I think it's important to have good skin and it does make me feel more comfortable when, I, when I'm not breaking out and my face doesn't look up messy and I just love it like this is I've been using this for quite a while and I absolutely love this like it is one of those things that you have to be really careful with because of the colour you can see like it is like one of those things that gets everywhere so you have to be really careful when using it but at the same time I do absolutely love this it is so nice and my skin feels so good after using it and then again quickly but this is something I use if I know I've got a big day the next day so if I'm going out um like during the day like got something big on like if I'm going out with some pantalon friends or I just have like a day where I want to look and feel amazing I was this the night before and then just wash it off with my when I wash my face in the morning and it is so nice especially if my skin's feeling like really dry I will use this and it honestly feels so nice this one's like more like a cream um Hello, um, but it's honestly like so nice. It's like it is, like I said, more like a cream, but it also smells really nice. Like, I'm not even sure what the scent in this one is, but it just smells amazing, looks amazing, and well, it doesn't look amazing, but you know what I mean? It just smells and makes my skin look amazing, so yeah. And now I'm not gonna put that, I'm gonna, I've got a towel behind me that I'm gonna put my hand into. Oh my god, I've got more on the face mask got on the mask box. Yay. Um, but yeah, this stuff is so nice. Um, this is something I only added to my routine about a year ago. Like I don't this one has lasted me quite a few months because I don't use it all the time. I use it if my skin is like really thirsty or if I know that I've got a big day ahead the next day. I just use this because it helps my skin feel more glowy and pretty and yeah. It's not a lot more to say about that really. This one is a bit more of a boring one, this is just bio oil and the reason I put this in this video is because um, anybody who's had surgery or has scars or stretch marks, this stuff is fantastic. It is honestly my saviour, my scars from my hip look so good, it would look good anyway because my surgeon is amazing but this stuff is honestly my saving grace. I put it on two to three times a week. Um, and I put it on every day because my skin can get a bit weird and when I'm shaving and stuff I just don't like having it dripping down my leg after I've shaved and stuff but I do this try two to three times a week and oh my god it is fantastic and obviously don't use it if you're like very close post-surgery because it can mess up the scabs and stuff but if you're like post-surgery and your scabs are all like pretty much gone you just want to make the scar less thick and more kind of cosmetic this is the way to go it's fantastic and honestly i love it like and you also again don't need a lot of it this i've been using since midway through my first PIO, i would say i didn't use it straight after my first one so i wasn't sure what to use but i'd say six months post-op i started using it on my first one and then again I've been using it since basically and I don't use it I didn't use it a lot on my first one but once I had my second one done and I had a kind of thicker scar at the top from my screws out of my hip I started using it a bit more and it's, like I said it's amazing and I absolutely love it and then the next thing is a bit more random it's a lip balm because my lips love to crack in the summer it gets warm so I have been using this lip balm from Bath House and honestly I absolutely love it like it's 
natural. It's locally, well, locally made, but it's made in this cup in Britain. And it's just so nice. Like, it's so moisturising. Um, it just is amazing. I absolutely love it. I got given this for Christmas, and I didn't start using it until recently because I had lip balm on the go. And I started using it, and oh my god, it's nice. So, yeah. I get, it's just a lip balm. There's not a lot I can say about it other than I actually really like it. So, yeah. And the new addition to my makeup routine, this is like I think the only makeup apart from my setting spray in this video. And it's the Clinique Super Primer in the, uni the, univer in the Universal. This is the holy grail of primers. It's amazing. Like, yeah, I haven't had a problem with my primer since starting using this. I don't wear makeup every day because I'm obviously in quarantine. I haven't needed to. But when I do wear makeup, I always use this primer. Now. It's so nice. And I absolutely love it. Um, I got this just before lockdown started because, um, well, I just did. I wanted to try a new primer, and I saw this when I was going past one of the Clinique um, counters, and I just thought, you know, I'll try it. And I'm so glad I did because it is fantastic. Um, I know you can get different colours to hide different sorts of redness, but this is the universal one because my face is weird. And I just thought I'd buy the universal one, and then if I decided I really liked it, I might buy a different one. But I think I might just stick to this one, I'm not sure. But again, this is like one of my favourite things at the moment. It just feels nice, basically. And the final thing in this video is the Ruby Red Hair Oil. So if you've been following my page for over two years, um, you will know that I once had really short hair. And because I once had really short hair, um, I when I started growing it out, I had quite a lot of problems with like hair health. And I'm being honest, like I didn't have very good hair health. Like my hair was a bit split, and it was just not in the best condition. And last year, I went to Babylon North Charles with my best friend, and I went past this store and I had a conversation with the people, and they said to try it and you know see if it worked for me and if it didn't work for me give it to somebody who would it might work for and oh my god i am honestly in love with this it is amazing it's one of those products that oh my god it's so good my hair it literally feels so soft and so nice and it's grown out really nicely like obviously even since last year my hair's grown quite a bit because i've just kept growing it out and I'm kind of at a length where I'm happy with it, but even though I'm happy with the length, I'm still going to continue using this on my hair once every two weeks because it just makes my hair feel so nice. And if I know I'm going out, like either to watch girls compete or just going out for a nice meal, I will, and I've got time, I'll always like set a day aside to do my hair and makeup and stuff. And I will always put this on in the morning and sort myself out and just let it air dry during the day. And it makes my hair look so nice and so straight. And oh my god, I'm just in love with this. It's honestly so good. <laughs> so if you are struggling with hair frizziness or you just want something to help protect your hair. What are the instructions? Um, yeah, it's just like amazing. Like, I, I honestly love this product so much. So, yeah. So guys, that's all the products I am loving at the moment. Um, I'm going to link them all down below, so if you're interested in buying any of them, you can. I'm not down the free link with any of the companies, so all opinions in this video are totally my own. But yeah, I'm going to leave links in the description if anybody's interested. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and I will see you all soon. Bye!